Good morning, everyone. Got a unit here that the speedometer kept dropping out on me, and then it would go into range inhibit, which I was thinking would be a speed sensor issue, but once I hooked up to this thing, I found out that we have a P0880, which is for TCM power input signal. So, as you can see, I'm hooked up to my TCM and I'm getting 9.8 volts, and uh, the batteries have 12 volts. Well, this is going to be a nice one here. Loss in voltage here, which is causing the TCM to shut down and drop our speedometer off. So I'm going to go underneath there and test my powers and grounds at the TCM connector. And we'll figure out what the what this problem is. So, of course, the first step is to check our battery power, which I already checked it. We're at 12 volts. Good. And then you check the fuse. This is an older International. This one's a 2004. So it has a 10 amp fuse located right here. I already checked that. The fuse is good. The uh, terminals aren't burnt and it's not loose in there. So next I'll hook up to the TCM. Okay, I'm under the vehicle and the TCM is right there. This guy. A lovely spot right above the dry shaft. So, in order to get to it, we're just gonna have to remove that bolt and that one there to pull the cover off and pull the connectors for the TCM off. So we have our J1 connector, which is this gray one, and our J2, which is the red one. The one that supplies our power and ground is gonna be J1. So. I'm going to have to pull that connector off and test for my power and grounds. So let's yank this red piece out here and then push down this tab and pull it out. Check for corrosion, looks pretty good. And uh, get my meter ready for testing power and ground. Okay, so. One and five is going to be our grounds. Three is going to be our battery voltage. So with key off, you should have 12 volts there. And two and four are going to be ignition voltage. So with key on, we should have 12 volts there. So again, one and five is our ground. Three is constant 12 volts. And two and four is ignition voltage. So we'll test those and see what we got. Okay, so I'm hooked up to my battery voltage using the ground of the truck or the ground of the uh, connector so we can kill two birds with one stone there. 12.5, load it up. Yeah, getting right down to nine volts, 9.9. .9. So either a bad ground or battery voltage, but I'm gonna go ahead and test all the other circuits, see if they operate the same way. Yeah, that's... Uh, definitely a problem which in the wiring which is good now if all the tests were good we had good strong voltage ground and again yeah you want to make sure you load these circuits up because yeah like I said look it's showing 12 volts 12.4 and as soon as you load it up it drops down to 9.9 9.8 so the importance of load testing so yeah make sure that thing's good if all the tests were good then we'd have a bad TCM but seeing as this is already failing the first test, well, we know it's in the wiring now. So I'm gonna go ahead and test all the circuits and go from there. So I ran through all the tests here and found that uh, I have a bad ground because when I grab ground off of the connector grounds, the pin one and five, then I drop in my voltage of nine volts there. And then when I grab a ground directly from battery, stays strong at 12 volts so that tells me that I have a bad ground circuit to the TCM so I'm gonna follow the harness and find out where my ground splices and find the fault okay so I found the problem follow the grounds right up to this connector right here that's beside the starter coming from the batteries and as you can see I moved it and our voltages are going crazy 
So when I press it together, we're getting a solid 12 volts. When I move it around, then that's when our our voltages kind of fluctuate. So the problem is these pins right in there. The ground pin, which would be this one right here, is either loose or the wire inside is broke or something because I checked the wires out here. They look good, the connector looks good, but it is right at the, uh, like this, the connection inside here. So this terminal is not tight on this terminal in there. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna bypass this. I'm gonna cut these wires here, cut these wires back there, and hardwire them together. This truck is, uh, it's kind of a tight spot here, but <clears throat> this will create a permanent connection. And yeah, that's the problem. That's why we are losing our voltage to our TCM. This is bad ground. Hey, so we got it all back together. And as you can see, our code is now inactive and our voltage is 12 volts. So the truck's not running, which is why it's only 11.9. But uh, yeah, that's it. The problem was that bad ground found the connector beside the starter. So just can't stress enough the importance of doing a load test because as you've seen, it showed 12 volts at the connector and as soon as I loaded it up, it dropped down to 9.9. .9. And uh, yeah, just gonna clear that code, go on a road test and that's gonna be the problem. So, all right guys, take care.